Hello guys, uh, welcome to this edition of Programming Wizards. Today we're going to look at multi trading and specifically how we can update the GUI okay, from a background thread. Uh, Android provides us, um, Android operating system provides us with a very good class known as handlers. It's very easy to use as you see. Uh, this class, it enables us to post updates to the GUI from a background thread. Yeah, so uh, everybody knows that uh, normally when you doing time consuming operations, things like network access, database access, uh, for your reading and writing, you see, these things normally consume uh, a good amount of CPU, and so they should normally not be done in the main thread. Okay, so Android, uh, the Android betrays the handler in order to send data to the uh, main thread uh, from a background thread okay so normally when you create a thread when you create a handler they normally register themselves okay with the thread and then uh, they can the thread will perform the work and the handler can post these things to the graphical user interface so here we visit two main functions of the handler the queue action to be performed by different thread, the schedule, messages and runnable instances to be executed in the future. Okay. So uh, let's fire, go back, let's go to the code and see. Yeah, so guys uh, fire up your IDE and we already fired that point. I'm using Android Studio. So uh, come to file, new project, uh, then type the name of your project. Uh, choose the minimum FPI. Uh, choose the blank activity. And then click finish. Okay. So me have already created my uh, class. Here is my main activity class. So I will just remove this other code. Then I'll come to my own uh, on create my own create method. So what I'll do first is that I'll instantiate the handler class. Okay guys, so what we're going to do uh, is that first of all, we'll create our view, uh, we'll create our graphical user interface. So come drag a progress bar to the form, also drag a button. So for the button, uh, I'll give it a go button ID then I'll call it go the test property I'll put go then for the progress bar I prefer to modify it in the layer XML so uh, I'll just leave the ID that way then uh, for the layout width I'll put 300 dp and the layout height I'll put 300 30 and then dp so as you can see it's now a little bit bigger so what will happen is that when the user uh, presses the go button the progress bar will be updated from the background thread so uh, let's come create a handler just say handler handler is equal to new handler Then press Alt Enter and then uh, import the class and then the OS the handler. Then we'll also declare some other like uh, stuff like button say go between then progress the PD. So please make sure that uh, you import the necessary classes. Uh, Android the two get the button and Android the two get the progress bar. So um, so far so good. Let's come to our own trick method. We'll now initialize these classes. Not the class yeah initialize the components I mean 
uh, say pb is equal to find z by id then r dot id dot uh, progress bar then cast it press alt then control and cast it to progress bar do the same with the button say go button is equal to find view by id r dot id dot progress bar press alt enter cast it to button then now let's set the on click listener say go button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener it will generate generate for us the on click method that we've already okay so it is inside this method that we will call another method that will update the GUI. Okay. Then the, the that method which will be updating the GUI uh, inside it will also call another method that will be performing the time consuming background work. Okay. So like the method that will be updating the GUI, let's call it update GUI. I won't pass anything. Then just press Alt enter create method in the main activity okay so it is this method that we use to update the GUI and inside this method we will also call another method in fact let's create it right now just say a uh, private void uh, do complex stuff Okay, so it, the complex stuff will be inside this method. So um, the first thing that we'll do in the method to update the GUI is that we'll instantiate a runnable class. Okay, uh, no, a runnable interface. I mean, sorry. So say runnable R is equal to new runnable okay to we'll create for our runner class so uh, inside this run method we are going to run uh, a for loop for int i is equal to zero i is less than or equal to 100 i plus plus Okay, so inside this, the first thing that we're going to do is that this value of i, uh, we're going to pass it to another integer. Let's create an integer known as val is equal to i. Okay, then after that one, then this is where now we'll do the complex stuff. We'll call the do complex stuff method. So this do complex stuff method, this is where we we'll, uh, write the code uh, that will be doing things in the background thread. Okay, so pb progress bar I mean, dot Okay, so guys, uh, we'll use the handler instance, so say handler dot post Okay. Then in the post we'll pass a, 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 a runnable instance. Remember runnable. Runnable is a, an interface, so we we'll shall just say a new runnable. Then inside the run method, this is where that we'll do the actual update. Okay. So just say pb dot set progress. And then pass the value into the progress. The set progress method. We'll make sure that we put uh, the semicolons then remember when we were starting we said that handlers are normally attached to okay when a thread is created 
handlers are normally attached to those threads. So the handler will be responsible for posting, okay? Posting updates to the user interface, okay? So to do this, we've created the handler and we've even written the method to post uh, the updates, but we've not created the thread. So let's do create the thread, say new thread. We're going to pass the runnable instance. So new thread, pass there are, I don't say dot start, okay? Then here we are going to simulate doing some heavy stuff. Okay. So uh, the best way to simulate it is to use a thread that sweep method. This will lock the CPU for uh, 100 milliseconds. So say try uh, thread that sweep. I think a hundred milliseconds is a good way to a good amount of time. So say catch uh, interrupted exception. E dot print start case. I think we have an error here. PB code goes down. Go button. Okay. Very big error. R. Id. Dot go button id. So so far, I think uh, we can run the program. Click run and let's wait and see. Well, guys, uh, you can see the program is here. So uh, when I click the go button, I'll expect the progress bar to be updated but when it is being updated it is uh, it will be updated from the background thread okay so let me click the go button you can see it's nice okay it's being updated this is happening from the background thread so you can see how using handlers is so simple okay yeah it's being updated so i hope you've enjoyed the today's tutorial uh, we talked about my recording using Android. So please uh, make sure that you subscribe uh, to our channel so that you can receive more updates. Okay? Yeah, see you next time.